So what's up guys, today we are teaching the services in Android, Android Xamarin Android service. We're seeing how to stop and start a service, how to start and stop a service right here. So in this case, what we're going to build, we just click and you can see greetings from our first service. So that's a greeting we've received from the first service. As you know, by the services, these are Android components. Okay, it's an Android component that allows us to, of course, uh, start that allows us to perform long running operations in the background then you can also just stop the service and then we tell us of course our service is actually destroyed okay so we are creating and we are starting a service and this is what we are going to look at so join us we get started so how do you do guys welcome to today's edition of programming users tv in this class i'm going to introduce you to services in xamarin android we'll first of course cover some theory then at the end of the tutorial, we're going to write a simple example to show us actually how to create, start and stop a service. So let's get started. Introduction to services. This is what we're talking about. If you talk about a service, this is basically an Android application component that represents the following. First, an application's desire to perform long running operations while not interacting with the user. And secondly, a component that can supply functionality to other applications so those are the two things that of course we can actually mean when talking about a service first a component that supplies of course functionality to other applications and secondly an applications desire to perform long running uh, operations without necessarily interacting with the user so in fact majority of the time if we talk about services in android we normally refer to this first one applications desire to perform long running operations and in fact in this particular class we're going to be talking about a service of course with in with this context okay of where we have like we create an application that wants to perform a long running operation in the background so normally of course you may wonder when should you use a service well, of course, you should use a service if you have a long running operation or a task that has a long life cycle. So it's actually a good uh, design that normally this type of long running operations should actually be executed in the background. So service is actually a good candidate for uh, implementing. OK, you should actually implement service for those type of applications. So an example can be a background data synchronization task now in that type of task you can actually create a service that will run periodically or as needed you can make use of the alarm manager and of course uh, implement a service so in that particular case your service can terminate when the task is over okay so if you do the job in the background this is actually going to free up the main thread from having to do these particular tasks and therefore it will prevent the user interface from being frozen whenever an intensive task is actually being executed so even though we can just spin off a new thread even uh, inside an activity a much better and cleaner way is to delegate the background operations to a service okay so in fact in when in the service itself if you want to do an potentially uh, intensive task you don't want to do it in a thread even inside the service because by default the service normally runs in the main thread okay so all android components service included first be aware that they normally do run in the main thread of the application process so service life cycle is actually different from the activity life cycle in that the former is better adapted to handle long running operations than the latter and of course with the former we actually mean the service so once we've actually moved our long running operations to a background thread we can then start and handle that thread inside the service so these long running operations that don't require the user interactions are the best candidate for delegation to a service so what are some of the advantages of using a service well first services do provide a more efficient mechanism for us to decouple long running operations from the user interface then let's look at some of the example usages of our service okay so for example apps that utilize the network frequently to pull for updates for example those 
um, RSS applications that you want to be pulling for new articles from the web, you want to use a service for that type. So second, a music playing app is actually using a service because the music player is going to play in the background should actually be playing for us a lot of time. And then there's also the messaging applications. Okay. Now there's also services without user input like the photo sharing app. So how do we use a service? Well, let's go ahead and write a simple example to see how to use an example. So open up Visual Studio, we start. So having created your Xamarin Android project, the first thing come and as you can see, we're going to use a checkbox to control the service to start or stop it. Then on top of this one, we're just going to have a header label. So this is inside our main .xml as you guys can see right here, add the following code. Then we'll move over to our main activity .cs. So as for our classes, we're going to have two of them. First, the greeter service .cs as well as the main activity. So let's start with the greeter service. By the way, this greeter service, this is actually our service. Okay. We're creating a service in this particular case, an Android service that is going to show, of course, um, a greeting. Okay. So it's going to actually show a greeting. So it's actually the simplest service you could potentially create. First, we define the namespace to host our project, to host our class. Then we add these particular packages. We import these particular namespaces via the using directive. Then we'll come create our cl service, okay, class, class greeter service. Then we come. Now, to make it a service first, we have to, of course, reta register it, okay? So if you're creating a service, first and foremost, we have to derive from Android.app.service as we've done. Then you have to register it in the XML using this particular attribute. You decorate it with this attribute for it to be registered. Now, if you don't place this one right here, then the service is not going to work, okay? Because service is an Android component and all Android components normally need to be registered in the Android manifest.xml. Now, in C Sharp, Xamarin Android, we can just use these particular attributes to register them. So we come right here, make it derive from the Android tab service. As you can see, it's telling us that abstract inherited member on bind is not implemented. So we need to implement it. Okay. So we go ahead, we override it or implement it. As you can see, the on bind method is returning an android.os.ibanda object and it's taking in an intent object. So in this case, we're just going to return null. Then we'll come right here. We're going to override another method called this on start command. On start command should be returning for us a start command result, okay, which is actually an enum. So as you can see, it's taking in three parameters an intent, the start command flags, as well as an int representing the start ID. So we'll come right here and say toss.make text. This is what will be shown right here greetings from our first service okay now this is the greeting that will be uh, rendered from the service now we're going to say start command dot sticky okay this ser service is going to run when we say this one start command result dot sticky is going to ensure that our service will run until it is actually stopped explicitly yeah okay because we're actually returning the start command the sticky from our enum. So we come here and then we are going to override the on destroy. So when our service is actually destroyed, we're going to show a toast message just before it is destroyed. So yeah, okay, this is what we're going to show right here. So it's that simple. This is actually our service. Now the next thing, let's move over to our main activity. So main activity first to define our namespace, add our imports. Then create the class main activity, make it, of course, derive from activity Android tap dot activity. Then, of course, once more we're going to register it. As you can see, first, of course, this is the label. Then it's going to be our launch activity. Then this is the theme we're using. This the hollow light dark action bar theme right here, and then we specify the drawable. Then, having done that one, we'll create this method called start greeter service. First, we instantiate our intent, android.content.intent. Then, once we've instantiated it right here, we're going to, uh, we're 
we're going to pass in of course this which is the context as well as the type of class okay so we type of then we pass in the greater service then we come and say this the start service pass in our intent this is going to start our service to stop it we we'll also need the intent and then we just once we have our intent we're going to just invoke the stop service and then pass in our intent then of course we'll override the on create method our on create method is taking in a bundle object based at on create we pass in the bundle to the base class then we invoke the set content view this will inflate our main data xml and set it as the content view of our activity then we're going to reference our checkbox so start service checkbox then of course our resource dot id the checkbox then we come start service checkbox the check change checked change plus equal to then we specify our event handler so this is our event handler when our checkbox changes this is the method that will handle it so if e dot is checked if our checkbox is checked we'll start the service otherwise if it is unchecked we'll stop the service so does it guys let's run the project and see what we are getting so we run the project here we have our checkbox we check it our service in fact if we go to the services in our app we're going to see our service running okay now if i click this one this is going to destroy the service we've looked at services in android xamarin android c sharp and we've seen how to start and stop a service services are very important and actually fundamental to android development so like the video share it and make sure you guys uh subscribe to our channel if you haven't now go to our website we're going to post the source code right there for reference you can find it right there so take care i'll catch you in the next class